Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this sex curious show, Sexplanations. Here are 30 plus sex terms you may or may not know. Riz, one's flirting ability. As in, she has so much riz, everyone in the room is attracted to her. Doppelbanger is a sex partner lookalike. Vab is to dab vaginal fluid onto one's body like perfume. Shambu Dram talks all about it in her book, Game of Desire, as well as her experience vabbing to attract partners. Olfactophilia, or osmolagnia, is a persistent, intense sexual arousal brought on by body odors, specifically from the genitals. Smell paraphilia. Nasolingus is oral sex with the nose, licking and kissing the nostrils, maybe even ingesting the contents. Now you know, cunnilingus, oral sex on the vulva, fellatio, oral sex on the penis, analingus on the anus, and nasolingus on the nose. There's also ear and eye sex play if you wanna make sure that all the orifices have been covered. How about dating terms? the latest coined and popularized by social media. Tuning is getting to know someone before DTR, which is defining the relationship or making it Instaficial, a portmanteau of Instagram and official because posting online is the true status update. On a thing is a way of saying, not quite official, but not casual either. You're into each other, but not label ready, which can also be called a situationship. Breadcrumbing is keeping someone sexually or romantically interested with minimum effort. It's the modern term for leading someone on. You flirt, but you have no intention of actually developing a relationship. More sex terms. Sex, spelling alternative to sex. Sex, 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 sex. A come tribute is when a person masturbates to someone's image and then sends them a photo of the resulting semen usually ejaculated onto the image. Come tributes can be a form of affection between partners, a way of appreciating an attractive photo of a lover, but they can also be abusive, unwanted contact like unsolicited dick pics. Get consent. Calipigian is someone who has a nicely shaped buttocks or large rounded ass, also known as a dump truck. Calipigians, Cardi B, and Megan Thee Stallion. Frey sexual is sexual attraction to strangers or acquaintances, like one night stands and casual sex, as long as they stay unfamiliar. One Frey sexual or not a sexual compares herself to Ariel the Little Mermaid, loving the statue of Eric until she actually meets the guy and the attraction fades. Mmm, the opposite of demisexual. Video in the description. An accountant has become a euphemism for sex worker. Someone who does porn or OnlyFans but doesn't want to answer their questions about their professional life, so they say they're an accountant to bore the interviewer into leaving them alone. Not that there's anything wrong with being an accountant or an accountant. A sneaky link is someone you hook up with secretly, which is unlike a show off who doesn't necessarily want to have a public relationship, but does want to have sex in public. Smash can mean either casual sex or penetrate someone's mouth, anus, or vagina with as much physical force as possible. Smash or pass. Don't you pass the ball like, this is shoot the ball. You pass the ball, you bounce it off the sexologist. A cushion, or someone you're cushioning, is a backup partner in case things don't work out with the person or people you're dating. Because sometimes you just want to get smashed, but your sneaky link isn't into it. So you reach out to your cushions, hoping that there isn't a long tuning before you could clap cheeks. Clap cheeks, have sex. Shrimping, sucking on toes. Pillow princess, someone who receives all the sexual pleasure, but doesn't reciprocate. Not necessarily a bad thing. Thirsty, desperate for sexual attention. The synonym for horny. A comma clitic refers to the preference for hairless genitals on oneself or others. A smoothie is slang for someone who doesn't have pubes. Nulos are people who remove their pubes and their internal and external reproductive organs. Sometimes their nipples too, but can. Okay, let's do a few of my favorite leg like, booty terms. LGBT, leg like, booty. If a person is non-binary, they don't identify as male or female, and they're attracted to women, then they may call themselves trixic. Toric, if they're attracted to men. If you're attracted to non-binary people, Scoliosexual. Fruity has been reclaimed by TikTok to refer to people or things that are part of the LGBT community, like booty. It was derogatory and may still be, so maybe don't use it, but recognize how other people do. Ah, and then there is side, which is the term that inspired this whole episode. To understand it, it's helpful to know that a top is usually someone who prefers the sex role of a penetrator, whereas a bottom prefers to be penetrated. A switch or versatile can go between these two roles, but what about the people who don't want either? They're not opposed to sex, but they don't want to stick it in or take it up the butt. Dr. Joe Court, author, educator, and sex therapist coined the term side for this very person. 
You're not less sexual as a side, your side, side pride. I can't wait to do a whole episode about this. Ah, I need sponsors. Sexplanauts of patreon.com slash sexplanations. You are making this show happen. All of the education and validation, people learning more ways to express themselves and understand others, that's you. Thank you, Sexplanauts, you brilliantly generous business partners, you. Stay curious. Bread coming, bread crumbing. A cum tribute is when a person masturbates to <laughs> Calipigians, Cardi B, and Megan the Thou, Thou, Thou. Very hard to say. Clap cheeks, have sex. Clap cheeks, have sex. Six, six, six. six.